All right. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out this video. Today, we are going to talk about e-commerce sales funnels, uh, specifically using click funnels. So um, we're going to peel back the curtain and I'm going to show you a couple of different examples and talk to you about really one of the most popular ways that people set up their e-commerce funnels. So the reason why most people prefer funnels to store sites is because of the fact that with the funnel, you're going to be able to, in many cases, collect the email information of the customer very early in the process, which allows you to do two things. Number one, it's going to allow you to build your list, even if the customer doesn't buy. And then number two, that's going to allow you to be able to create follow-up sequences uh, that are just going to increase and boost your conversions. Now, the other thing that people like about this is that with a e-commerce funnel, because you have the opportunities for things like order bumps, which we'll talk about here in a second, as well as upsell pages, those all increase your average cart value. And of course, the higher your average cart, the more money that, that you're making. So let's go ahead and dive right in. What you're looking at right now is basically the inside of ClickFunnels. You're looking at a free plus shipping funnel. So I'm just going to go over these pages really quick, and then I'm actually going to show you what these look like full screen. So your first page here is your squeeze page, also known as your landing page. Uh, this is the page where the customer lands on, they see the offer, they're able to go ahead and put in their email, and then it's going to take them to the order form. The order form page is very simple, basically them just filling in the necessary information to go ahead and uh, buy the product. And then you have the upsell page. Now you can have as many upsell pages as you want with this particular template that we're going to be taking a look at together. There's only one in this one, but I'll show you one that has a lot more. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at this funnel together. So here you go. We are on the landing page and as you can see here with this template they have uh, the benefits outlined at the top reserve your free baits now here and then they have some social proof satisfaction guaranteed you know money back guarantee all of that stuff room for more social proof um, and then letting you know that there's some other color options you know all of that good stuff okay so now let's go ahead back up here Put in our email address and boom as you can see here this is the order page so this would be kind of akin to your shopping cart if you were comparing this to uh, more of your traditional store website so um, this is it right here if you had uh, multiple product quantities it would all show up there it's saying dynamically updated because i have not added any products to this and then here you go this was the order bump that i was uh, mentioning to you so an order bump is basically just something else that you offer on this page um, that uh, gives additional value and of course uh, this will increase your your average cart value because if as you can see with the example that they're giving if they buy this master guide it went from basically a really low free plus shipping offer to a 27 dollar add another 27 dollars on to that um, and the cool thing as far as how a lot of people set this up and you'll see that this is very popular as well um, is that they'll do something that's more along the lines of, say, a digital product because then they either purchase the right somewhere to resell it or they just make it once and they can continue to sell it over and over again. So this is actually pure profit um, if, it, if it is a digital product. So now let me show you the, um, the upsell page. So this is what the upsell page looks like. As you can see, it's very, very simple. Um, they're asking if they would like to add one more bait at 30% off, okay? So um, the reason why they do this and, and the psychology behind it is that if the person just purchased these at a higher price, uh, more likely than not, they're going to purchase more of the same thing at a reduced price. It's just kind of psychology when it, when it comes to that. So that's been tested, that's been proven. Um, that's a big part of e-commerce funnels. Usually the first upsell is always more of the same. So again, this is one, you could call it kind of the, uh, the simple free plus shipping funnel template. So now uh, this one here, this is what you would call the, uh, like the real stuff <laughs> uh, funnel. And this is a template as well. And basically, as you could see here, this one's kind of geared a little bit toward a little bit more towards supplements, but you could sub in any product that you want. So you have your headline at the top, you have a picture of your product, get your samples now, your sales video would go here, uh, some details about the offer will go there, and you have your social proof, 
another picture of the product, the button that would then, you know, take you back, uh, excuse me, take you down uh, to where you can go ahead and order. And then uh, here's some sales copy and some different things there. And again, you could customize this to whatever you wanted, whatever made sense for your business. You, you really just kind of look at this guys as, as like a, a layout, if you will. It's, it's really just a template. All of this can be changed, the colors, the pictures, all of that good stuff. Um, so now on this one, you'll notice that the difference is that they have three different quantity offerings. And then what would happen, uh, this funnel isn't set up, but basically what would happen is that if you click this button, it would take you to the order page and then you would select, um, you know, you would just fill in the information and, uh, and, and go from there. And then of course, after you start the initial purchase, it is going to then go ahead and, and take you to a, um, to the upsells. Okay, um, so this is again what is called the uh, the real stuff funnel, if you will. So let's take a look now at another free plus shipping funnel. Okay, and I wanted to show you guys this one specifically because there are a bunch of upsells on this one. So this one is geared more towards women's fashion. And as you could see, it, the initial offer is going to be earrings. So your first upsell is more earrings, then even more earrings on top of that. You have a continuity upsell. Now, this is where um, you would sell a, a membership type of program. So if you have a, a monthly subscription box type of service, a sales funnel is a great way for you to get more people into that product because of the fact that the customer is more likely to buy a subscription service from you after they've made the initial purchase. So this is really something that is actually highly recommended in the e-commerce space. If you are using a sales funnel, is to always have some type of monthly subscription box. If you don't have that already, make sure that that's in your, in your long-term plans. Um, so then you could see here that they go to uh, an upsell to a scarf and then an upsell to a hat before going to the order confirmation. So that's just kind of a, a breakdown of, of this particular funnel. So you can see you can have more than one upsell if you want. Now, typically it's recommended not to go beyond like three, but again, it's it's all about the vibe of the funnel and uh, and, and if, it, if it's flowing and it makes sense based on what the customer is being exposed to. So uh, let's take a look at this particular squeeze page. So one thing that you're gonna notice about this one is that this particular page is going to have a lot more detail than the other one. So there's a lot more sales copy. There's a lot more pictures. There's um, some social proof as well. You still have the guarantee here. If you remember on the first free plus shipping funnel that we looked at, um, they did reference the guarantee on that page as well. But yeah, that's um, this one here again is a little bit, little bit more extensive, a little bit more information about the offer. And then what happens is that once you go ahead and submit this page, boom, you're going to the order page again. Um, as you could see, very simplistic. You have the order bump here, and then you have this button which says I'm in uh, rushing my free earrings. Now, I didn't point this out on the first free plus shipping funnel, so I do wanna make sure to mention it to you now. The reason that this doesn't say complete my order is because you want to leave this as an open-ended loop. So um, the studies show that if you put complete order or some type of closed loop call to action here, your upsells and your one-time offers will not perform as well because in the customer's mind, the transaction is completed. But by making this an open-ended type of loop, specifically geared towards whatever you're offering, yes, send it to me now. Yes, send me this. Yes, I'll take it. You know, it keeps it open-ended and it makes them more receptive to uh, to purchasing your, your upsells and your one-time offers. So um, yeah, that, that's it. So that would be a couple of e-commerce examples, some, some templates if you wanna do e-commerce funnels. Uh, by the way, um, what I can do is I'll put links to these funnels in the descriptions below. So that way um, you can go ahead and take advantage of these templates, play around. If you already have a ClickFunnels account, uh, it'll just upload right in there. If you don't have a ClickFunnels account, you have to go ahead and, and sign up for the two-week free trial, uh, but that gives you a chance to just kind of play around with these a little bit, um, you know, see if you think it's something that, that's going to work for your business and, uh, and give it a shot. Um, so again, thanks for checking out this video. Really appreciate it. Oh, and, and by the way, in the comments too, go ahead and, 
and leave a comment on which of these you, you guys want to try first and, and which one you're going to give a shot with your business. I'd like to kind of, you know, see uh, which of these you think was the coolest. So uh, thanks again and until the next time. Peace.